right at the start off here, right at the bottom here, as you can see, I got some Sega Genesis right here. So we got La Russia Baseball. And then we got the PGA Tour 2 Golf game. And then the two that I play, number one right here, NHL PA Hockey, obviously NHL 93 and NHL 94. I believe that's where the NHL EA Sports Series started was 93-94 on the Sega Genesis. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I'm wrong. And then we got some football here, so let me just shift these over. PS2 games here, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, State of Emergency, you got Incredibles, and Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Played that more than once. Got all the villains from Scooby-Doo. Kind of a good one there. And then Teen Titans, Winnie the Pooh, Madagascar 1, Madagascar 2, Shark Tale, B-Movie Game, Shrek Super Slam, where you fight as the Shrek characters, pick your character, and you can throw chairs at people. It's also got a story mode to fighting like Prince Channing and all the characters from Shrek 2, I believe. Simpsons Road Rage, I believe this also has a story mode to it, and you can pick the different types of cars. You can pick who you want to drive as. Krusty the Clown, Bart, Lisa, Homer, Marge. And then moving over to here, I have Fantastic Four, Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, Resident Evil 4. I tried to play this one. The person I got it from, I think the disc is like scratched, so it's kind of hard to play that one. World Series Poker, Apex Escape 2, Narnia, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the original Narnia, King Kong, one of my favorite PS2 games. Like the movie, but it's got some parts to it that isn't like the movie, and it's just an overall good game, honestly. CSI, Plan, this one's kind of like a spy game. God of War 2, Shadow the Hedgehog, obviously Sonic's evil brother, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, Guitar Hero 2, three Sockum and we got Kingdom of Hearts 2, Kingdom of Hearts 1, and then just some other role-playing games here like Dynasty Wars where a bunch of people attack you at once, a bunch of Chinese warriors fight a bunch of people at once. You got obviously three Ratchet and Clank games here, Dragon Ball Z's here, favorite one obviously 2005 here, Dragon Ball Z Sega's. This has got a story to it where you can play all the Dragon Ball Z characters, one of the main one back there, Cell. I believe you fight Frieza at one point. I never really watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z. I watched Dragon Ball Z Kai which is technically a new one. I would like eventually to get into playing a little bit more of these Dragon Ball Z games. Bell is Alaskan Adventures where you can fish and fight bears. Deer hunt. This is mainly just hunting deer with different rifles. Different places of the world in the US. Wyoming or Vermont. Canada. Like in Vancouver or Saskatchewan. MVP 06 Baseball. NCAA 2K7. 2K Sports. NBA Ballers. Jump Pack Demo. Corvette Cars. Crash Bandicoot Racing Game. One I believe has a story to it where you can just play around but you can also race. Win new cars. Kind of like Mario Kart because you can throw stuff behind you to stop your opponents from moving any further. ATV 2 Road Furry where you can ride ATVs and motorbikes. One of my favorite games there. This one has a lot to it. I believe there's like five or six of these ones is number one as well so i have one and two mountain bike adrenaline dukes of hazard original there this is actually not based off the 2005 movie with johnny knoxfield this is actually based on the series dukes of hazard arsky and hutch Let's see, PS3, Zombieland right here, just a Blu-ray right there, so I'll move that out of the way. PlayStation Move game, Sports Champions, Medal of Honor, Motor Storm, one of my very first games with PS3, very fun. The Simpsons, the game, U-Star 2, where you can play as like famous actors and famous scenes and just act the way you want to, it's kind of funny. J Hero, Far Cry 3, Little Big Planet, really fun game. Kung Fu Rider, where you ride on chairs, all types of obstacles and get around things and smash into things. Big Game Hunter 2010, Kung Fu Panda, Call of War as Bound in Blood, play this one more than once. Call Brothers, you're going around protecting yourselves from villains, killing them to get your way to the goal. Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, Watch Dogs, Dishonored, Mafia 2, probably my all-time most favorite PS3 game right here. Mafia 2 with Vito Scaletta in it. Only thing I say they could have made better with this one, what they did with Mafia 3, how you could just play whatever you wanted first, but you would still get to the same story ending. And also just make this story a little bit longer. Would have made this even more better. Give it a multiplayer. Spider-Man, Edge of Time, Rock Band, Infamous, Infamous 2. I got all the NHLs right here, NHL 9 to 14. After that, I switched to PS4. Dion Phaneuf starring in NHL 09 cover. Patrick Kane, Jonathan 
Jonathan Taze, Steven Stamkos, Claude Giroux, and Mari Brodeur's last appearance on a cover. And then Lionel Messi, FIFA 14, MMA if you like some UFC fighting, WWE All-Stars. They made all the superstars in here like buff. It's like a champion's mode where you can play The Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship and it's got Paul Bearer in there. Or you can play Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Or you can play for the WWE Tag Team Championship which I believe is like Kofi Kingston and John Morrison. WWE 2K14, World at War, probably one of my most favorite Call of Duty along with Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, another good one there with Reznov in it, MW3, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost, the most depicted worst Call of Duty they say of all time. Honestly, most people are actually saying after Infinite Warfare came out, Infinite Warfare is the worst. It makes Ghosts look better. I wouldn't disagree with that. Walking Dead, Survival Instinct, very short game. Zombies could have been a little bit better. Play as Daryl along with his brother Merle. Could have made this one a little bit longer and made the zombies a little bit more realistic, but I guess you get what you get. It was only like 29 bucks anyway. Dead Island, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Saints Row 2, also like Grand Theft Auto, and speaking of that, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, and then I just have some random like Blu-rays here. Countdown Armageddon, Spider-Man 3, Supernova 2012, Shark vs. Octopus, and Meet the Robinson. So I got NHL 15 to 18 here. Obviously Patrice Bergeron, Jonathan Taze, Vladimir Tarasenko, Connor McDavid, and WWE 2K15 with John Cena, WWE 2K16, Joel Cohn, Steve Austin, WWE 2K17 with Brock Lesnar, NBA 2K16 with James Harden on the front, NBA 2K17 with Paul George on the front, and then NBA 2K18 with DeMar DeRozan on the front, FIFA 15, Lionel Messi on the front, Need for Speed Rivals, Battlefield Hardline, some of my Call of Duty games, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty World War 2, Mafia 3, GTA, another one of my favorites, number 5, came to first person when it came to PS4, Doom, Destiny, and Far Cry 5, one of my more recent games that I picked up, one of the newer games, honestly a really good game so far, I'm not that far into it, but what I've played so far, it's pretty good. The last one for PS4, Farming Simulator 15, a few GameCube games here, we got obviously Final Fantasy here, Tales of Cynthia, Zelda, The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, it includes basically 4 classic Zelda games, for Mario Sunshine, one of my favorites there. NHL 2004, Gun, a good western game, and then some more GameCube games up here. Moving on to the Wii, we got Ratatouille, Chicken Little, Monsters vs. Aliens, Offshore Tycoon, Chicken Blaster, CSI, Super Smash Bros, you gotta have that for any Nintendo, honestly. Happy Feet, one of my favorite mini games for the Wii, Carnival Games, Cooking Mama, Price is Right, Just Dance 3, Just Dance 4, Wii Party, Wii Fit Plus, Wii Sports Resort, Wipeout 2, Raymond Raving Rat, Rabbids 2, Game Party, 101 Sport, Deca Sports 2, Minute to Win It, very hard game actually based on the actual show Minute to Win It, I don't even know if they actually still have that show going, but it was obviously a pretty decent show, pretty decent game, pretty hard though, Mario Kart, obviously a must have, Kowalski, Jet Ski, Kowalski, Snowmobile, Harley Davidson, Motorcycles, Road Trip, Monster Buck Hunter, Big Game Hunter 2012, Rapala Pro Bass Fishing, one of my favorites, Smackdown vs. Raw 2010, WWE 12, WWE 13, EA Sports, NHL Slapshot, a lot of people depict this as a bad NHL game, I disagree, it is honestly a very good game for a Wii, from young to pro, from in Bantam or Pee Wee, all the way up to pro. And then Summer Athletics, that's kind of an Olympic game. And then my last Wii game, Don King Boxing. And then I have a few Wii U games. Obviously, the one that came with the system, Super Mario Bros. U. And then Mario and Sonic Sochi Olympics at the Winter Olympic Games. That's a very good one. Final Wii U game, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And obviously, I have the Sega Genesis up here, the original Sega Genesis. The GameCube, I wouldn't mind collecting a few more games from that. Up here, I got my Carey Price figurine, Montreal lamp, and then my graduation cap. 2018 right there, let that dangle down there. That's pretty much it for my game shelf here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, please remember to like my videos down below, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Gaming. As always, remember to check out my Trish Stream channel, section box below, which is Matt or Sir Dog or Scream 31. Check out my Twitter page, guys. Hope you guys have a very good day. Yeah.